Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. And I've just been around the station moving things around, uh, trying to get everything repressurized again, and sadly I'm short on air again, so I don't have enough to fabricate or to fill everything up, so I've sort of had to, to... Oh yeah, I did pressurize this. No, I didn't. Damn it. I had to depressurize the tug that a little bit so I can get to the tug, and i got to depressurize that, the tug a little bit. So I can repressurize that. Uh, but today uh, we are gonna do a bit of a trifecta, and hopefully not run into any issues. Uh, like supports over here. Uh, what I want to do today is I actually want to see if I can find a, a cargo bay, and B a power supply. Yes, yes, a power supply. So I want to pressurize that, but we got depressurize the tug so depressurize that for now and then I gotta repressurize this once that starts getting up because we don't have any nitrogen uh, one of the things I want to look for today is regolith uh, I do have some scrap on me so I should be able to recycle enough to get a couple of warp cells uh, I gotta look to see if you can actually recycle these drills I'm pretty sure you can but for some reason it's not lightly letting me uh, dead warp cells we can get six scrap six alloy I think it is or sorry uh, carbon fiber I think the the orange thing was or the blue thing and then we need helium 12 or helium 3 we need 50 units of that for each warp cell which isn't bad because that's basically well it's like two canisters of regolith I think but anyways let's go ahead and start pressurizing that and then we'll stop pressurizing depressurizing that uh, another life support module will probably come in handy too. This will probably go a little quicker. I have been doing upgrades, adding servos where I could, resource injector that I had. Uh, I did put, as you can see, my capacitors up to 475. I did put another containment field generator in the tug. And I'm actually going to make a third one and put it in there. Because if we're going to be taking a fabricator and refinery with us, if we don't happen to find a power supply, I want to make sure I have enough juice to at least make some warp cells. So I got some fuel to get home. Alright, so that is pressurized. Let's grab this. Since my hands are full, my inventory is full. And go from there. Uh, I did end up making a servo in the, <laughs> the machine uh, after the last episode. It's actually quite interesting how it works. It's sort of like a, like a, a 3D printer similar to what they have in Astroneer now. Uh, I do have a couple of refined cans, so I'm going to actually recycle this one. Actually, i got to check something here. Aha, yeah, that's a, that's a bug. I noticed that because I had one of these were completely empty, and it said I couldn't recycle anything. Now, that's completely empty, and it says I can't recycle it. If I put a tiny, tiny bit of something in there, it might just actually register. So we'll just go run over here, and I have some... No, which way? This way. Have some excess nitro. Always get excess nitro. You get that from the nitrates. So I'm gonna put that there. Come on. There we go. And go to attach point. Drag the nitro over and we'll bring this all the way down to 0.1 if I can. 0.2, close enough. Alright, so now if I take it off, it actually has a recycling output, which I don't understand. But hey, for 0.2 units of nitro, I won't complain. Anyways, uh, that's definitely, definitely something good to keep in mind, and actually is going to be something we're going to test. Uh, it won't work with this one, but I bet you if I put one of the raw containers on there, it should work. So I'll put that one in there. Oh, I do have a drill on me. Put this on. We'll. Can I not do it that way? It used to be hold R. Unless I change the keys. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's sort of move the container. You gotta put it on there, and then you gotta hold the drill to load it. What? Hang on a sec. No, oh, it seems to be working now. Hold R. Move canister. Oh, doesn't do the animation anymore, does it? I guess it doesn't. Let's actually just drop this on the floor. Ah, 
I guess it equips it automatically. Still not giving me a cycling output on that. Uh, does it actually have the canister installed? It does. Hmm. I wonder if we put a battery in there, if that'll give us a recycling output. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, good to know, good to know. It's always handy to have an extra battery. Uh, drills around. Uh, hmm. Let's get rid of some of these tools, too. I'm just going to put this here and dump the hydrogen here for now. Uh, attach point. Let's unload that. Okay, and we'll get rid of the other one too. So I'm pretty sure I got two of them elsewhere. No, let's not do, let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. Let's see this one. Let's empty it. It gives you recycling output. Oh, you're not gonna work. All right, fine. Zap it away. Come on. Put that in there. Oh, it does update when you have something in there. Okay, so let's go here and we're gonna put a fabricator. I think I should have enough in here to make containment field generator wherever it is. Five helium. Not five hydrogen, six helium. Really? Alright, well we won't make one then. I don't want to save the helium three for other stuff. Uh, is there anything else I could make here? I thought this thing actually used a servo somewhere. I thought it did. It should. Unless I'm not seeing it. I have no clue. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this thing. Uh, that means I have to depressurize the whole thing. I'm going to go hop on my ship and then we are going to head off to Everest. We're going to go out there, look for a cargo bay, hopefully a power supply. Uh, if I find the power supply, then I can anchor, I could probably anchor to the power supply, dock the cargo bay at one end, and the fabrication module at the other end, basically completing the whole thing up, but at least I can leave the cargo bay doors open and be able to get inside and out, and then we have ourselves a mobile fuel plant, uh, mobile warp cell plant. But anyways, uh, I'll bring you back when we're there. Okay, here we are at Everest, and I had one of those uh, now what moments. Uh, I was uh, making my maneuver, and I kept forgetting about uh, about this. When you go and set your maneuver, uh, that using stage two is actually, believe it or not, cheaper than using stage one. As I was uh, trying to use stage one, I was using just over the 17% that I had. I went to stage two, and I brought it down to 8%. So that definitely helps. But anyway, let's cancel that. Let's do a scan. Let's see what we can find here. Remove that. I'd like to find a cargo bay and a power supply, if I can. Uh, fabricator module. I also looked into about the circuits. Oh, uh, before I get to the circuits, let's talk about the the uh, the air resource. Ooh, there's my cargo bay right there. Uh, my air resource is actually uh, in the life support in the cargo terminal you can actually drag oxygen and nitrogen from the supply side on the left to specific modules on the right uh, specific modules being the outpost for instance which has an air generator you give it oxygen and nitrogen and it will generate air I'm using quotes here in case you can't see it and that's what the, uh, the resource is so that's how we get air but anyways uh, so now for circuits basically I have to find something that already has circuits in it to break it down so I think we're just gonna go straight for this cargo bay. Uh, it should be pretty quick, and I like this grouping. Go right to the module that you want. All right, so we go to stage two. We'll bring this down. Speed too low. Good enough for me. All right. Oh, the warping unit is so much different now than it used to be. Everything's so much different than it used to be. Uh, yeah, just before I uh, made the jump too, I was actually waiting for the countdown and I initiated the jump and my capacitor ran out because I was eclipsed by Bether. Uh, one of the things I did too is uh, I tried to rotate the station sort of so the top of the station, the panels were facing the sun a little more. 
I know it's not going to work too much because we're on the other side of the sun where it's going to be exposed to the bottom, so it's not going to get proper power coverage, but I think the solar panel modules allow you to get get the sun from different angles, even from the bottom, so if I pick up some solar panel modules and hook them up, then we at least we have constant power. Whenever we're not being eclipsed by Bether, anyways, uh, we may end up changing changing the orbit to a polar orbit. I have done that before. Uh, well, it's gonna be a little hard now because we got more, more than three modules. But anyways, uh, let's get back in here and see if we're going. We'll check out a few derelicts while we're out there too. I do have to keep an eye on my capacitor because it's running dangerously low. Uh, we should be there in four, three, two, one, and here we are. Okay. Uh, first, I want to check out the cargo bay and make sure there's no turrets on this stupid thing. Oh, that is directly in front of me. Okay. Can I have to tell because it's dark? Now, again, just like the command module, since we're so close to Bether, I don't really see there being a turret on here. But you never know. So we are going to... Should we park it or drag it? Uh, let's park for now. Actually, how far are we into this debris field? Where are we? My ship, please. Oh, we're right on the edge. Yeah, we should be okay. <sighs> For some reason, I can't. I like I can see the debris on the, the menu. That's funny. It's actually parked to this one. Where is it? Uh, it's behind me. Oh, it's below me. For some reason, I won't let me park to this. That's fine. We'll just take the next best thing. We'll even use the cargo bay as a bit of a debris shield. Why not? Okay. And the cargo bay should not move because it should be parked with everything else in this cluster. So let's run out there quickly. Uh, jetpack is good. I do have some hydrogen. Uh, we'll survive. I took a chance. Oh. <sighs> Helmet down. You gotta be more careful now too because the airlock is a lot faster than it used to be. Okay. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Before this thing blows up right in front of my face. Right in front of my ship I should I should say. Okay, first, before I do anything, I need to see if there's a turret in here. I'm going to duck behind it so we don't get hit by anything. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen one of these guys. Okay, I'm just getting pelted. I have yet to... I have a derelict blow up while I was inside. Please tell me there's no turret. Please tell me there's no turret. No, we won't find out in here. Come on. We should have some gravity. Good. I don't see anything. That one's not there. Let's check the one inside. Finders keepers. All oh, right, let's get this thing fixed up quick. Whew. All right. Best thing about these cargo bays is you usually find some pretty good stuff on it. All right, let's uh, I have to change the shelf system again. Whew. I don't know why, but my heart's racing a little bit. 
And you come in one of these things that when it's dark and I'm in the middle of a debris field and everything's <laughs> shaking and sparking everywhere. All right, what do we have on here? Two fit, 25 helium three. That's actually not too bad. Let's actually see what we have for raw stuff too. Nice. We actually have some regolith there. Okay, well, I'm gonna fix this thing up and uh, pray to God it doesn't blow up in front of my face, and then I'll bring it back when we're out of harm's danger. Okay, I got it all fixed up, and I thought we'd uh, take a look at these derelicts here before we try to head out of here. I actually want to see what this orange thing is. Okay, that's that scrap we're supposed to be looking for. But apparently, there's some other circuits we can find, too. I haven't actually found those yet, but I do see... A servo and a resource ejector. Take those. Uh, I don't know what's in there, but we'll take it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, raw resource, oxygen, hydrogen. Oxy Hydrogen's more important to me. There's oxygen you get everywhere. That I can't actually put it away, so we'll leave it. Another crowbar there. I feel like I'm on the clock on this one. Uh, let's see what else can find here. Batteries. Batteries. It's always good to have plenty of batteries when you go mining. So in that way you can just do a quick swap out and be on your merry way. And I think it's about all I can find in this one because I'm all over the place right now. It's the crowbar. Oh, it was this compartment here too. And then kaboom. We got a little too greedy and it blows up. Alright, that's that one. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm about to go to this one since we're aiming for it. And let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can find a warp cell on here. And I'm sure we will. Oh, suicide burn. Oh, speaking of warp cells. Okay. Well, what do we have here? We have nitrates. I can actually use those. Uh, hmm. Can't let that go. Make sure I don't miss anything. You like to take your time on these things, but you, you never know what you're going to find. Can I not do that? Oh, okay, fine. We'll draw up that then. There'll be plenty more where those came from. Let's see if we can find anything else. Find some batteries. Uh, probably nothing in the drawer, so I'm not going to bother trying to open it. Because I don't want to go boom. Oh, another battery. Ooh, a battery. Ooh, a battery. Ooh, a battery. What else we got here? Nothing, just the one warp cell. Oh, jetpack, hello. Uh, again, um, uh, uh, um, yeah, I will take that though. Alright, let's head back to the ship, wherever you may be, there you are. And then I should have one more derelict to somewhere else. And one was parked too. That's one we're just at. That's Cargo Bay. That one is down there. Hmm. Let's go for it. Now we'll go for it. Oh! Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Right over my head. If I can find one more warp cell, I'd be happy. Not that it matters, because we're going to be able to make one soon, I think. Because we've got the, some helium-3 in there, and we do have some regolith. Ooh, I don't actually want to... These nodes on the other side. See if we're going to actually, actually find something that will give me circuits. And it just looks like it's only a scrap. But 
And there's that other warp cell I was looking for. So I'm just squeeze up here. I might actually leave that battery. Uh, I might be able to take it actually. It's free, free recyclables and stuff isn't cheap to make. And you don't exactly get a lot back when you recycle stuff either. Uh, drill, I will take the servo. The drill is actually kind of useless to me. I'll take that even though I have to put resources in there. Actually, we'll just do this. Have a bit of a top up and get rid of it. And then since I'm here, and I'm heading back to the ship. Actually, no, I'm not heading back to the ship. I am. Um, yes, I am because I have to disconnect the fabrication module. Dock that to the cargo bay and anchor the cargo bay. So with that being said, I shall I shall bring you back. So this is interesting. I'm actually trying to dock this right now and I have a hole breach in my windshield. I'm just trying to get this. I had some bad luck with the cargo bay. Apparently if you don't not have those docking clamp or those anchor points lined up almost perfectly, it'll send it flying. Fortunately, I still have some hydrogen on me. I filled the thing right up. Uh, one of the derelicts I was at just blew up like two minutes ago too, so good timing on that. I do have the cargo bay doors open though, so at least we can get in here a little bit better. And yeah, something goofed there. I have no idea what happened. I'll fix that in a second. Let's uh, let's uh, do a reload. Apparently, okay. I'm trying this again and again. I'm gonna say a thankful. Thank God we can actually save the game now. My manual save saved me five minutes. I was already talking to the cargo bay. I had saved just before I was heading out the door to open up the bay door. So when I get in, I figured, well, since we're in a debris field, it might be a good idea. Uh, what I didn't expect was uh, this docking section here bugging out on me. I don't know what happened. It was one of those things. It was almost like a server de desync. And I just started clipping right through the flat fabrication module. All right. So, uh, we'll go down a little more. Oh, something just blew up. Oh, something else just blew up. Look, little starbursts. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. I've already had problems docking this thing once already. Okay, that just should be it. Should be. Famous last words. Oh, thank God. And there's a hell breach. There we go. I have the fabrication module right in front of me. So is it here? Yes, it is. Look at that. I can weld glass. While wow, it's sucking air out too, believe it or not. It's the wonder tool. Forget, forget sham wow. Get yourself a welding tool. It'll fix it and clean up any mess. All right. So that is that. Uh, how are we for health? 86. We'll survive. Uh, let's see what we got for warp cells here. Let's swap this out and let's do a quick jump. See if we can. Uh, oops, that's gotta go back. Oh, that's gotta go on the shelf apparently. Uh, stick you there for now. And we'll just put a warp cell in there and decide where we're gonna go. Somewhere out of here. Oh yeah. I was going to say, I should probably take my helmet off. Oh, let's get out of here. Up we go, up we go. Make sure none of those numbers are getting smaller. Oh, one of them is. Good enough. Alright, get me out of here. Get me out of here. So we are here. Let's actually do a scan, see if we can find a power supply. Because it is technically industrial and you would find it here. An L module, no. 
I don't really care for corridors right now. Fabrication module, power supply. Well, I think this one just spawned, so we'll head off to this one. We'll go over here, we'll warp two. Make sure nothing's in our way. Good. Oh, we'll go stage two, and this will only take seconds to get there. Like I said, seconds. All right, so let me uh, line this up and I'll bring you back when I find something. Okay, here we are, and yes, we're still in a debris field, unfortunately. So I don't know what we're going to do here. Uh, I do have to take the fabrication module off first and dock this to the cargo bay and the fabrication module in between. And of course you're not going to let me park next to this thing, are you? Well, that means i got to use my skills here and try to nullify it the best I can. Just about there. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, do a quick pack change. Since I don't have any... Well, I've still got half atmosphere in here. Uh, I did do a save in the middle of warp, so hopefully, if anything happens, I got my bases covered. Alright, let's, let's see what we got, because I know we got two turrets in this one, we got to worry about two, but again, being so close to, to Bether, we shouldn't have an issue. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried about what I'm towing, though. We are upside down, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh. Alright, let's see what we have in power supply number one. Besides an upside down door. We can fix that. Again, this is this is the one we gotta watch out for for uh turrets. There's going to be one up here somewhere, and then one on the floor. And I don't see any turrets. Alright, so i got to do a quick repair job in here. Uh, let's do this quickly. I have plenty of hydrogen. And go from there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this patched up the best I can. I'm going to get it connected to the cargo bay and the fabrication module and then uh, bring her back home uh, if there's any issues or problems or mishaps I'll bring you bring you back to show you my suffering okay here we are uh, just barely though I had a few, another hull breach or two uh, good thing I had the power supply and I had fixed it up because uh, my solar panel decided to go I don't know if you can see the spark in here there it is you can see the sparking, so my solar panel screwed outside because it was taking a beating. Now, like I said, I had, had another hull breach. But fortunately, I have a power supply here that actually had some fuel in it and I had fixed up, so it was actually operational. So I was actually able to turn that thing back on because this defective, so I have to go outside and fix it. Uh, this actually still has quite a bit of helium in it. Uh, I'm fairly charged up for now. I'm going to keep it going just for the sake of it. And yeah, so we are back at the station. Uh, needless to say, my atmosphere is garbage. So I need to bring this all in and get it all docked up and figure out where I'm going to put these things. And it's kind of funny having all the stuff attached to it because I got like, it feels like I'm flying a Star Destroyer or something. But where I'm going to put everything is. was was originally thinking of having let me get out of here for a sec let's actually make sure I'm not drifting too close to the station nothing like explaining yourself as you're flying towards it but what I was thinking of doing was taking uh, the crew quarter off putting the cargo bay at the end of the crew quarter uh, where the cr crew quarter is uh, then maybe the airlock uh, hmm. We got those two two free ports there. Uh, the fabrication module I would like to have actually on the main hub. So then, 
this is what I'll do because I'm going to leave the, one of the doors in the cargo bay open. I'm going to uh, disconnect the fabrication module, put that on this docking port here, and then I'm going to dock this docking port on the power supply to here, which puts the power supply going here and then the cargo bay going here. I can dock on, I can park the ship on the cargo bay, and then that way I should have enough room for the airlock. So with that being said, let me get out of here and uh, get that all taken care of. I'll probably have to do some rounds and do some repairs while I'm at it. But I'll bring you back when I've got everything put back together and repressurized. Okay, I have everything put together. I thought I'd come out and do a quick little overview before I go inside and panic and try to get my jetpacks filled up and the station pressurized before I suffocate. But there we have it. I have the power supply and the cargo bay. And the airlocks here, fabrication modules on the other side. I got my lifeboat here and the crew quarter. Uh, I did have to fix, do a lot more repairs on the power supply and the cargo bay. But with that being said, I'm going to go inside, get everything up and running and pressurized. And there's that hull bridge again on the that cargo bay again. Which doesn't matter because I think that's in the airlock anyways. So yeah, I'll do a cut and I will bring you back. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. Uh, gonna have to be uh, juggling resources by the looks of it. So for the time being, since I don't plan on actually going into the power supply really, I'm gonna keep the power supply and the corridors depressurized, same with the cargo bay. The cargo bay, since whenever we go in there it's gonna be in zero G anyway, so we're gonna leave the bay doors open, we'll just go through the small uh, the main airlock here, then that way we can get to our ship and get to our cargo bay, so we will leave that depressurized, we'll leave that depressurized and for some reason that doesn't want to continue depressurizing I know it's a big room, but it's not that big and then that way I can repressurize the tug at the same time oh, that's just not what I want to do, I want to pressurize that and while we're waiting for all this stuff to do what it's got to do, we'll go see what goodies we got in the cargo bay. Now there is lighting issues, it's got nothing to do with power, I got more than enough power generation going on right now, I'm generating about a, a grand more than I need, so that is good, so let's put our helmet on, we gotta close that. And hopefully we have enough air to pressurize this. I noticed the uh, airlock in the cargo bay is about twice as fast as this, which is surprising. Alright, open the inner door so we can go in here. Uh, it's dark in here because I actually have the power turned off in here because we don't really need it. And I just realized I could have accessed this panel over here. I can't understand it. You can fly around pretty good with this, this jetpack by trying to rotate. It's impossible, unless you're using like Q and E, but it's almost like you're trying to throw your weight around to get your, your uh, centrifugal force to turn your body. But anyway, so yeah, so we got the airlock here, cargo bay over there, I'm going to open up that door too, and the fabrication module's way at the other end. But so far, so good. So let's see what kind of goodies we got, I want to see if they change anything downstairs. You know, when I first saw this ship, I thought it was actually smaller than the mule. And for some reason, I was thinking it would actually be possible to fly it into here. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, one thing I've heard, too, and I haven't actually seen or heard any actual evidence of this. But apparently they were supposedly going to be adding some sort of mining vehicle. I have no idea what they meant by that. Come on. Can I get down? There we go. Oh, it's not clipped to the station. Not that it matters because I'm technically outside anyways. Alright, so nothing in here. Yeah, apparently these actually get pressurized. I don't know why. I don't know why they need to be pressurized. As far as I know, they have absolutely no use in the game at the moment. But let's check our boxes, see what we have, see if they give us anything at all. Probably not. Warp drive, no. Power supply, no. Power supply too. Of course not. Not that it matters because we can 
have to make everything now. It'd be nice if we could actually break down these boxes. Not that it matters. And let's see what else we got. Anything interesting on the shelves? Just a battery. And on these shelves. Ah, nothing. Oh, so that's interesting when your heads up display goes, you actually you lose your vitals. Um look at like look at my my HUD is like wait a minute, do I have my helmet helmet up or something? Yeah, I did not know that. I guess that's something that they changed. See, there it is. Alright. Now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and there is nothing on these shelves. Now what would be nice for the batteries, instead of having like actual slots you have to put them on like uh, like how you've been seeing them like over there for instance. There should be like a card holder set up where you can actually place them. So we did get some scrap, I don't know why they're looking at scrap. Well it's like there's zero G in here. Let's see what we got in here, nitrates, oh I could use those. Get some more uh, life support going. And in the other one, all these drills and can't actually break them down. Dry ice. That's going to be our hydrogen supply, I do believe. Alright, so let's see what else we had in here. I'll unload that. I'm going to also get that refining while we're at it. Refinery. Oh, it just uses so much power. But it's so fast too. And I should be able to actually refine everything all in one go, go as well. Do everything. We have the power. Why not? And that bug. Alright, what do we have over here? I don't have any raw over there, so let's go ahead and refine that. And that's going to get that going. Uh, was there anything else we can snoop around and find and use to our advantage besides the crowbar? Nothing. Alright, well, let's go check the rest of the area here. Uh, the power supply, oh yeah, this, I got everything pressurized, depressurized, so we should be able to just walk right in. Go into the power supply, but we won't be able to get to the station from here, just because I have it all basically isolated. Just because we don't really need to come in here unless I'm charged with batteries anyways. Because of our charging array down here. Okay, let's actually see how this system is. So we have all our parts. So we have four catalysts in there. Which are all tier one. A tier one resource injector. And it has one core fuel container generator. And that's all this stuff here. That's weird, it looks like a, a texture bug. I never did see what was over here. Uh, nothing interesting. I did find a helmet so we can break that down for what puny little resources we get for it. And then there was a warp, set, warp cell up here I grabbed already. There's a battery here. I found a drill up here as well. And they moved the turret stand here. It used to actually be mounted up there. But now it's here. And yeah, so that is that. Uh, I've had a hell of a time finding that hull breach was outside, right in that corner there. And because there was no atmosphere, I couldn't actually see that it was leaking anything. And we can't go that way. That takes us back to the station, which is isolated. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. We've got our cargo bay. We have power supply. We have a fabrication module. And I think we might actually have enough to make a warp cell. Which doesn't matter because I'm actually using them a little more efficiently now. So what do we get out of that? That was quick. So we... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I hit the wrong button. Unload. So that means we get a little bit more nitrogen for our air. We have 37 of helium 3. But we actually need that for our reactor right here. But, 38 and 38 gives us enough for a warp cell if we really need it. 
but that is cool so yeah i think from now between now and the next episode i'm gonna start recycling a whole bunch of stuff and get some some scrap and some alloys made does this thing actually still move no it doesn't oh that's a shame i guess too many people got crushed in there but yeah so i'm gonna call the episode here i'm gonna like i said do some salvaging some recycling and We'll do a little bit of decorating next episode, I think. See what little goodies you can make and make this more like our homestead. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.